Hey Kevin, what is the difference between being tested and being cursed by God? Thank you for that question. <laughs> what is the difference? Okay. We know that when you choose to disobey God, you are going to be cursed. You can read in the Old Testament. You can read in the New Testament as well. When you choose to disobey God, <laughs> you are choosing God to curse you. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28. Perfect place to see the curses that God will give to you when you choose to disobey him. You can read in the New Testament as well. It is pretty much saying bad things are going to happen to you when you choose to disobey God. It is no secret. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Okay. So, when do I know I am being tested by God because in both cases bad things are going to happen to you very good question the book of Job read it very good place to see what happened to a man that was being tested by God excellent very long book too <laughs> so many chapters man <laughs> crazy but um you will see that before Job was tested, he was righteous. He was holy. He was doing good things for people and stuff like that. But yet, God tested him anyways. Why? God can do whatever he wants, man. <laughs> whatever he wants. Also, let me say this too. Let's say that, let me pick a person's name that comes to my mind, Joe. Let's say that Joe gets saved. He repents of his sins. He read his Bible. He prays. He is doing what is right. Let's say that, you know, Joe has patience, but his patience is not where it should be. So what can God do? God can put Joe in situations that is going to test his patience. Because how is your patience going to grow if you are not under pressure? How is something going to grow if you don't put it under pressure. Let me make this really simple. You go to the gym. If you want your biceps to grow, what are you going to do? Use weight to do what? <laughs> to put it under pressure, right? So when you put it under pressure, it grows. So what is happening when God puts you under pressure? You are either going to grow or you are going to go right back to the way that you were. Back into, man, this should really make sense here. You are either going to grow or going to go back to the way that you were. So Let's say Joe begins, you know, his temper is not really that bad. But let's say that he has, you know, a bit of a temper problem as well. What do you believe that God is going to do? <laughs> Place Joe in situations that is going to test his temper. He is going to bring people around that is going to irritate him, annoy him. Why? To put him under pressure. Why? So he can grow. 
Man, <laughs> we are supposed to become more and more like Jesus Christ every day. So if you are not placed under pressure, how are you going to grow? You can't tell me, hey, Kevin, you know, I don't need God to put me under pressure because I will grow, you know, just by being me. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you aren't. This is the reason. If God doesn't bring trials your way, you are just going to stay the way that you are. Hey, I don't like being tested. Who does? But I see that when, when I get tested, I grow more in God. I understand more. I can teach more about something because I went through it. <laughs> no, I don't like bad things happening to me. Who does? But like I said, you are either going to grow or you are going to retract. Go right back to the way that you were, which it is no good for anyone if you do that. Not at all. Man, I pray that this makes sense. You know, I used to go to the gym so much. And, you know, like I told you, back in my sinful days, you know, I was really arrogant and, you know, prideful and just a big mess. And if I wanted a certain body part to grow more, I had to use weights to get that part bigger. Like my shoulders, my biceps, my forearms, my chest, my back, my quads, my hamstrings, my calves. I had to use weight to get those places bigger. Trapezoids, I had to get, I had to use weight. You know, I kept on injuring myself like the same time every single year. I would injure myself the same time. Like God was like, hey, <laughs> you need to change. And I kept on injuring myself until, you know, my life changed. But I was still like, no, I want to do my own thing. <laughs> Stubborn person, man. Very, very stubborn. Went through so much pain for nothing. <laughs> but anyways, to get back to my point, you need to put pressure on something to make it grow. So God places pressure on you to get you to grow more. Because if he left you as you are now, yes, you probably can send or lead some people to God and stuff like that. Yes. But look at how you are now. You can help people much more now. I can help much more people because I went through so much. If God did not place me in the things that I went through, let me say this, I believe I went through much, <laughs> many dumb things because, you know, I was silly. <laughs> let me say that. But even when I turned my life to God, I believe he placed me in those certain things because, or so that I could grow. Because I did not love people as much as I love people now. I did not care for people as much as I care for people now. I did not help people as much as I help people now. So everything increased. I pray that makes sense. God bless.